You can add transitions to videos in iMovie very simply. I'm going to put a couple of pictures on here to show you some of the things that you can do with the transitions. First of all, when you put in new video or new pictures, you're going to have a transition type. Currently, I have two triangles facing each other in between the video clip and the picture clip, the picture clip, and the picture clip. If I tap on that, it's going to show me different kinds of transitions. This transition, I'm going to tap back on the picture, I'm going to play, this fades from one thing to another thing. So as it fades, you can see it goes between and it fades from one picture to another picture. The same thing when it fades between the video and the picture. It fades. We can choose what transition type we want. First of all, the line means that there's no fading. It just instantly goes from one clip to another. If you tap on that, the star, this means it's using the transition from the theme. In this case, it has a nice theme. And this theme had sound. I don't know if you heard that. You can turn that sound on or off when you're in the transition setting by pressing the speaker. You can change the duration of the transition from 0.5 to 2 seconds as long as you have long enough media. And there you can see it's much longer and I turn the sound off. You can also select to have it fade from one oops, you can have it fade from one picture to another picture. You can have it push. You can see you can have it push from left to right, right to left, bottom to top, top to bottom. And again, you can see some other transitions. This one here will fade to black and then bring up the image or fade to white and bring up the image. And so here you can see, if I play through, it fades to white and it comes back. So there's a number of different options you have for your transitions. And you can adjust and change the settings down here. Now one thing you might want to do is have the audio carry over from one video to the next or from a video to a picture. To do this, you simply select the transition. In this case, I have a video with some audio and you can see the audio down below. If you don't see the audio, you can always turn on or off the audio using the waveforms. I have the audio down below and I want the audio to carry over into this transition. I tap on the transition and you can see the two yellow triangles up and down. That's going to open up and let me adjust where my transition is. I can get more specific here for how long my transition is and this yellow line is showing me where the transition is occurring between the two video clips. So I can choose exactly where I want it to occur. This blue line is indicating where the audio is. So I can actually have the audio from my video continue on into the picture that I have. Now right now it's stopping because my picture is pretty short. So what I need to do is go back, select my picture, and my, make my picture duration longer. Now that my picture duration is longer, I can tap on the transition and tap on the yellow arrows and I can make my blue line or my audio last the duration of that transition. And that will allow me to carry video over or audio over from one video to the next. And so here you can see I have my transition set up. Here's my transition. You can still hear the audio that's on the video there. So it's a pretty neat technique to be able to add the video and control how you adjust the audio or how you control where the transition is based on where these yellow lines are. These are where your video transition is. The blue line is where the audio transition changes. If you have two videos with audio, you can actually have the audio overlap both videos. It's a pretty cool thing that you can do.